Hi, my name is Rebecca Atkinson. I'm from Arts Queensland. We're pleased to announce a new and innovative approach to regional arts that empowers local communities to deliver local arts and cultural experiences. The Queensland Government is investing additional funding of $6.5 million over four years to establish a regional arts services network. This network will provide a coordinated approach to statewide regional arts delivery that is responsive to local arts priorities. Arts Queensland is now calling on service providers to submit their expressions of interest in delivering regional arts activities across the state. We are encouraging companies across Queensland to consider how the regions can best take advantage of this opportunity. Acknowledging the challenges of a state as decentralised as Queensland, the expressions of interest process puts collaboration and leadership at the heart of regional arts development. The six designated regions have been determined upon consideration of statewide service delivery across other Queensland government departments. The Regional Arts Services Network comprises two components, seeking Queensland providers that will deliver regional arts services across six designated regions and a state coordination office. Providers delivering regional arts services must include the employment of a locally based arts officer, one officer in each of the six designated regions. The second component is a state coordination office service. This service will provide a secretariat function to the regional arts service providers and facilitate a coordinated approach to regional arts activities across the state. It will also support capacity building of regional artists and arts organisations, foster cultural leadership and assist with networking and partnerships. The State Coordination Office will also be a contact point for local arts councils. To support new projects generated through the Regional Arts Services Network, a new funding stream will be established within our existing Queensland Arts Showcase program. This funding aims to incentivise regional projects that demonstrate the power of the arts to enrich the lives of individuals, build sector capacity, promote local stories and make positive changes in communities. More information in relation to the new QOSP funding stream will be available later in the year. We will now provide a short summary of some of the important points about the expression of interest process. Working within the Queensland Government's procurement strategy and policy framework, Arts Queensland is seeking to award service agreements to deliver the key deliverables of the two different service areas, regional arts services and a state coordination office, over a four-year contract term. It is important to acknowledge that the Regional Arts Services Network expression of interest is a procurement process, not a grant process. Arts Queensland is committed to integrity, transparency and fairness and has engaged an independent probity advisor to oversee the two-stage procurement process. The two stages of this procurement process are a submission of an expression of interest as the first stage with shortlisted companies invited to a second stage of negotiation. To assist all parties with their submission, there are three opportunities during the expression of interest process to submit questions. I'll now hand over to Ian McIndoe from O'Connor Marsden to speak to the probity elements of this procurement process. Thanks, Rebecca. Hi, I'm Ian McIndoe from O'Connor Marsden. We are probity advisors to Arts Queensland for this process. What's external probity? That's all about fairness and transparency and running a fair process. That's important to the Queensland Government and to Arts Queensland, which is why they've engaged us. But it's more about you responding to the EOI than it is about them. I'm your contact if you have probity issues or queries about the process that you didn't initially want to raise with Arts Queensland. The sorts of things that you might have queries about particularly could be managing conflicts of interest, could be because you're new to government procurement processes, which can be complicated. It could be about managing confidential information, which you've acquired for another purpose, but you want to use here. And most likely, it could be to do with managing other relationships, what we call business as usual relationships with Arts Queensland, while this tender process is happening. So the thing to take away from me is that I'm the point of contact for all those questions in the first instance. My contact details are on the website, so please feel free to come to me if you have queries. The last thought is don't leave a question unasked. If you have a question, please ask it. Don't leave it till the end and wish you'd asked. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. I'll now talk through further detail of the expression of interest requirements. Expressions of interest will be accepted from legally constituted companies or partners working together in a consortium. Local councils cannot independently apply, but they can be part of a consortia. To be eligible, providers submitting an expression of interest to deliver regional arts services must be based in regional Queensland. Organisations wishing to deliver state coordination office services must be based in Queensland. 
Eligible providers may tender for both opportunities, the Regional Arts Services and the State Coordination Office. An evaluation panel of key stakeholder representatives and Arts Queensland will assess each expression of interest against the evaluation criteria of capability, viability and stakeholder management. Interested parties are reminded that the expression of interest is a procurement rather than a grant process. There is a significant difference between these two processes and this, and this needs to be considered when preparing your submission. In summary, a procurement involves the purchase of specific services to assist the government in achieving its priorities. There is reciprocal value and benefits derived from delivering the contract for government and the service providers. A grant is a contribution made towards your own project. Other criteria for parties wishing to make a submission are available on the Arts Queensland website. In support of Arts Queensland's commitment to transparency and integrity, all inquiries relating to the expression of interest process must be emailed to regional arts services at arts.qld.gov.au. There are three deadlines to submit clarification questions as detailed in the timeline table of the Information for Providers document. This is available on Arts Queensland's website. There is also a list of frequently asked questions. The Regional Arts Services Network is an exciting opportunity for regional and Indigenous arts and for our local communities. We encourage all arts groups in regional Queensland to view this information and take action to find out how the network can assist arts projects in their local communities. Arts Queensland has information available on our website to assist interested parties. You can also contact us by email. Thank you very much for your interest in working with Arts Queensland on this new model of regional arts delivery.